So today my classes start at 9am and I typically wake up like an hour and a half before my class starts. The only exception to that is if I haven't done the work that's due in for that day which happens more often than it should let's be honest but yeah today I've been quite good and I've woken up at half past seven. I'm just going to pack my bag and then we're ready to go. This is the bag that I use for uni. It's a big beefy one with two big compartments and a little one at the front. My friends got this for me during first year and it's still going strong in third year. On an average day at uni, the first thing I always take is my A4 notebook. It's separated into five sections. And during our third year ed studies, we have five modules. So a section per module and you can write on the tabs and it's got little pockets for hand up. I take my pencil case, I have pens, pencils, highlighters, rulers, all that jazz. My purse, my water bottle. It's super important to bring your ID badge. You can't actually get into the building without scanning your ID badge first. I also tend to bring my laptop and then of course I bring my charger as well. And then finally I bring my phone charger and then I've got a few books that are due in at the library as well. I like to leave half an hour before my class starts, just to be safe. My course, Education Studies, is based in BCU City South Campus. It's in Edgbaston, and my student accommodation, which is near Five Way Station, is about a 20 minute walk away. So yeah, I am walking there now. Okay, so it's coffee time. I've got a cheeky Costa, a hot chocolate with cream. What have you got? I've got a, um, a pumpkin spice frappuccino with coffee. Molly's a Starbucks gal. I'm a Costa gal. City South has got both a Costa and a Starbucks, so yes. it's a winner. And they also have, uh, they're gone now, waffle, um, caramel waffles, like Starbucks. Today we're in room 024 and the iBCU app is really good because it has a live timetable on. So if your rooms do change at last minute, you always know and if you're already at uni, you just see it pop up on your phone. So if you're a BCU student, definitely download that. Okay, this is a really posh classroom. What is going on? Is it right for society, governments and HEI to pursue an agenda of widening participation. Tell me now. So we've got a half an hour lunch break and we are chilling in the social kitchen. I've ordered a quesadilla. I've got wedges. I've got nachos. There's quite a few places you can eat in City South, to be honest. There's the uh, the canteen where we go sometimes for breakfast, there's a, a campus shop where you can get a sandwich but we like the social kitchen because the menu is really good and they do student discounts. <laughs> she thought it was hers, livid. Okay, lunch went far too quickly. She's on the lookout for books. Where's all your books? I think I went to the wrong section. Oh. I tried it one. Well, you should have gone on the library catalog website because it tells you where all the books are. You click it and then it tells you which library it's available in. So Mary C. Cole is the City South Library. And it tells you where to find it, like which shelf. So we're gonna go and find it. So it's around here somewhere. You can see the, um, the shelf numbers on the actual books and the book that I wanted. Yes. Five. How long were you in there for? Two hours. <laughs> Two hours. I think it was quite successful. Got quite a lot of work done. Our course is just really good. There's loads of opportunities for independent study. Um, as you can see, we're not in the classroom a hell of a lot. I think it's like four hours per module per week or three to four hours. So we have loads of time to do work by ourselves. And that's what I like about this course. I'm off home now. That's basically a day in the life of an education study student. Bye City South, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>